Johnny Sexton, who turned 37 on Monday and leads the team out now for his 108th cap. Can Ireland start this match as well as they have done in the first two? Dan Sheehan's throw straight to James Ryan. Ireland's line-out should benefit from the absence of Scotty Barrett. Now, this is a really good heave. New Zealand treading water, and Ireland are through again! Three Saturdays in a row! Three early tries! Josh van der Fleer is the man who touches it down this time! What a start again, it's incredible. Ireland got that momentum forward. What a brilliant drive, brilliant score from van der Fleer and that Irish pack. Sam Kane looks to salvage the situation. New Zealand have options both sides here. Burst forward, however, Wayne Barnes not happy with it. Bit hard done by he makes a tackle first. No, it's against Sexton. Yeah, he's saying that Sexton didn't roll away there, and probably when you see the pitchers there again, it's a fair enough call. Routine delivery from Jody Barrett. Golden Barrett, David Havili found himself short of options there. Good energy though, Adi Sever. Kirio Adi to his brother into the 22. Turn over, Ireland it. managed to turn it over. That's just from the flare, brilliant from him. Hansen. Whistle comes in, penalty to Ireland. That's a big moment in this first half. Yeah, and they need moments like that, Ireland. New Zealand starting to get their tails up a little bit. He said, well, what work from Van der Flair? Can Ireland stretch this All Blacks defence? Nice sidestep from Bundyaki to gain an, an extra hard yard. James Lowe. Back in to Hugo Keenan! It's over! Two tries for Ireland inside the opening half an hour. And this third test is going very well for the tourists. It swirled and it curved, but it's made its way over. Presents it back. The distance and the kick from James Lowe. New Zealand won't hang about. Seville Reese. Always looking for just a little chink in the armour, but there's been so few of those. And penalty to Ireland. Yeah, and it's a shocking, shocking decision again. Sexton's kick is good, and Johnny Sexton has just landed an enormous kick there. Tight for a long 60th cap for Ireland tonight. Here is Hugo Keenan, manages to spin away from Bowden Barrett. Caelan Doris to within 10 metres. She had Sexton, Bundy Aki! Goes Robbie Henshaw! Ireland score again ahead of half time. It's a ninth international try for Robbie Henshaw. And Ireland are putting their foot on the throat of the All Blacks here ahead of the break. Already a thousand for Ireland and the Lions. This will make it over a thousand in green. Johnny Sexton makes it New Zealand three. Ireland 22. Irish eyes are smiling. He recovered well. Stay behind, Aaron. James Lowe will now, for sure, bring the first half to a halt. New Zealand 3, Ireland 22. But if there's one team in the world that can do it, it's them. OK, that is the challenge. Where will we be in 40 minutes' time? It's back to Issa, to Allen and to Connor. Close to an interception. Seville Reese will try and keep this alive. And he wriggles past Van der Fleer. Good tackle in the end. Van der Fleer might have been impeding Aaron Smith. This is Kane. New Zealand banging on the door for a try at the start of this second half. They still have advantage. Akira Yuari. Ardi Severe. He's so pumped up. And over the line he goes. And place. 
And he's in control of the ball. And yeah, well his left hand, hand is always the start to the second half that New Zealand desperately wanted. Ireland down a prop, and if they get another scrum, they have to make a replacement. Cody Taylor, New Zealand looking for momentum. Yes, Cody, yes. Ireland down to 14 for the next 10 minutes. Smith, Severe. Holding for it was Akira Ioane, and he slips through the first tackle, and through the second! Akira Ioane, can you believe it? His first ever international try for the All Blacks. He had one disallowed in the autumn. This one looks good. And all of a sudden, the All Blacks are tight, they're behind halfway. It's a... Fresh legs on okay, for New Zealand now. Good throw from Herring. Good surge from Ireland. Herring! He stretched and he got there! Can you believe it? He got there! Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. I didn't think he should have broke off of there. Great line out again and set up from Ireland. Herring makes that decision. You think it's a little early? The flags go up. Quarter of an hour of game time to go. No time to waste. Dane Cole's eager to get on with it. But they've got to get all the way down to the other end. And one converted try won't be enough for New Zealand. They need more. We're about to enter the final minute of game time. Is the clock about to run out on New Zealand? Akira Ioane can't hold it. The knock on means a scrum to Ireland and they are so close to an historic test victory in New Zealand they can almost touch it look at what this means so many talented Irish teams have come to New Zealand soil over the years after that loss in the first match they've galvanised each other picked each other up as a squad it's just been amazing absolutely brilliant players on the touch on they know that the clock has run out they know there isn't enough time even if New Zealand get the ball here and run it down the other end there isn't enough time to restart and go again Ireland can savour these moments as Mac Henson charge can there be a cherry on top Conor Murray Ireland's confidence and a roar as the clock goes red and Joey Carberry will kick to touch to end the game and they Last week was historic in its own right. Ireland beating the All Blacks in New Zealand for the very first time. But this raises the achievement now. Just simply epic proportions. We're a year out for the World Cup. And Ireland have just had one of their greatest ever rugby days. Your winners for 2022, Ireland.